because my neighbor's mowing her lawn, you can hear. Anyway, uh, so I kind of, I just drew a straight line down with the Sharpie. I got a square, just to get an idea. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I took my um, this scrap piece of pipe here and kind of put it where I need it and drew uh, the half circle there and then just kind of generically finished out what I need. So I'm going to take my spiral saw, cut that out. Um, I guess you probably could use a razor knife too, I don't know. We'll see. And uh, I'll show you how that works out. Alright, that was quick. This is a spiral saw I was talking about. That's a technical term. Road is a brand. There's different ones. Just a regular drywall type uh, bit on there. This is, this is real, real thin plastic so it works out real easy. So anyway, you can see here I uh, got those cut out and uh, I'm going to go down and see how it fits. We have to take a little bit more off, especially in the one end, in the end as I'm going over the uh, more of the, the rubber uh, coupling. So we'll see how that fits. And if not, I'll just come back out and take a little more off. All right, so here's the deal. Look, it fits like a charm. Perfect, nice uh, fit there on each end. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get probably a few bags of pea gravel. Small gravel, nothing big. We don't need any 57s or anything. So I can level this up, and this is gonna, this uh, access cover, this box, shall I say, is gonna sit on top of that to get a nice level. And then I'll proceed to, uh, I'll fill the inside with the pea gravel up just to just below where the uh, screws are for the access on the clear plastic there. Um, and on the outside, I'm still debating. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do if I'm gonna do concrete all the way through or maybe pack the clay in real good around the bottom to help uh, prevent water from seeping in as much as it has been and uh, that's that so now comes the fun part we're gonna finish this bad boy off to the parts store all right now got my concrete got a couple more in the, in the truck and uh, got my all-purpose gravel and we'll get some more of that water on the bottom I'm gonna fill the bottom up a little bit with gravel so I can level off this uh, access and then uh, go from there so I got my access box to fit and what I did is I I dug it I had the uh, clay just a little lower when I set this in than I needed and uh, I wanted the top of this box to be level with the concrete that's existing existing so what I did is uh, I just put a little stone on the bottom and kind of a little more than I needed and kind of wiggle it down and then once I got this uh, level I'll show you here so basically I got a level or you can take any kind of straight edge as long as you're coming across and barely touching the top of this box this access box on both sides and you're also on the concrete and that's exactly where you need to be so that's where I'm at and then I pulled the rest of uh, it's all-purpose gravel Home Depot about two or three bucks a bag had to break into the second bag no big deal so I uh, just came to the, the just below the top of the uh, clear plastic access cover and uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm actually gonna decide to put some of the old clay back around the outside here and I want to put the gravel in there first so it doesn't cave it in or, or mess it up but I want to make sure I don't bump this too much so I don't lose my uh, elevation and uh, fill it in gently here on each side and uh, I'm going to come up to probably about six inches below the top and I'll finish the rest of that on concrete on there and here all at once of course but on this side I'm also going to use clay but on this side I decided I'm going to go all concrete all the way down uh, I need that to be as strong as possible maybe right maybe wrong I don't know but uh, I figured it can't hurt but so uh, that's the plan so I'm going to shovel some of this old uh, dirt back in here and uh, get it to where it needs to be. Alright here we are uh, getting ready to mix the concrete. got my concrete mixing trough um, which are really nice if you don't have one get one of those and uh, a regular garden hoe and some shovels will do for mixing. These bags take a half a gallon per bag for uh, water to mix. So I got two gallons of water for my four bags here I'm going to start with don't want to mix too much at once, uh, but also you want to be ready to keep going if you need more. It's always it's always the best to have a couple more bags. You can always take them back. They're only about three bucks a bag. So anyway, I backfilled here uh, gently around the uh, access box so I wouldn't disturb it and make it settle or move it at all. So that's my loose clay. 
uh, within about four or six inches or so from the top that all will be concrete and down here you can see I didn't uh, I didn't put clay in all the way down there that's my um, line coming in that it connects to the PVC I got those bands as tight as uh, they should be still that's going to be the weakest point in this uh, so I'm going to cover all that this whole sign will be buried in concrete so that's all I can do so uh, that's the plan I'm going to mix up some concrete and I'm going to start in this uh, deep part here and fill it in and uh, see what's left and mix some more oh also I have a couple tools here float I also got a point or a tuck point uh, trowel um, just a couple I've had forever doing different jobs but the float is nice uh, the float a nice finish I'll use a shovel to get all the mix in there but I'll mix all four bags here because I know it's going to take at least that and then I'll go from there all right quick uh, update here actually I started with just two bags and I went a little more water the uh, one gallon per two bags was a little dry I actually went about one and a half gallons because it was I just I really needed it to be more workable uh, and you can see it worked out pretty good that's just two bags in there so I think I'm gonna have plenty of concrete I have uh, four more bags I think we'll be able to do all this here and uh, I'm going to mix up two more bags, uh, go with it, and see where we're sitting. But it's one thing I want to keep going with is you don't want this stuff to sit around too long while it's mixed. So that's the plan. And also, if you notice, I put the cover on upside down. I didn't want to put it in how it normally is. If I try to pull the cover off and then maybe it'll pull up the box before the concrete set, that'd be a bad thing. So I just set it up in there upside down just to kind of keep the stuff from going down inside. I, that's concrete. I can clean that off afterwards. That's no big deal. So I'm mixing two more bags and then we'll see where we're at. All right now, so I added two more, uh, so far we're only uh, six 60 pound bags of quick creep into this. And I wanted to show you, I took the cover off here and uh, just wanted to double check down in there, make sure no concrete's and it shouldn't and it didn't uh, pour in in any way. You can kind of see, maybe you can't, the sides are pushing in just a little bit from the weight of probably the concrete and the dirt on the sides. Uh, but it's going in quite nicely. Um, so I'm gonna mix two more bags up and that should get us, that should be it for uh, what we gotta do here. And I'll mix them up with a nice consistency like this last stuff. And uh, finish it off, trial it out, and I'll show you what it's like. Alrighty, we're done. Uh, had a little bit left over, which is always good. It's better than to be a little bit short. I'll just end up dumping it out back or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, I left this cover in. I pulled it out to see and uh, make sure everything was going good. And I put it back in because once I pulled that out, the concrete kind of bowed the edge of that. So we want to leave that cover in. Um, I mean, it would have been easier to trowel it without that cover in. But, like I said, I put it upside down because I didn't want to, when I went to pop the lid off, to pull the, the whole thing up before the concrete sets up. That would have been really bad. So I'm just going to leave it like that and uh, let it set up here for a day or so and then uh, that should be that and then well, we'll take one final video and go over a couple more things maybe and that's that but yeah we're I floated it all out it's all uh, even with the top of the uh, concrete to the top of the access box and uh, that's that well here we are it's been a couple days since the uh, concrete was poured um, I wanted to give it ample time to set up it's been busy doing other things around here and uh, I cleaned out what it is that I removed the cover and I cleaned out around the edge all the uh, there was bits of concrete but the screwdriver comes off nicely and uh, when I had my what I'm gonna do is I remove all the screws around this cover down here I'm gonna take the uh, plastic access cover off the clear one here I'm gonna clean it up so I can uh, see in the future uh, they recommend that this needs to be checked at least at least a year every six months preferably and cleaned out because uh, it's going to get from uh, kitchen grease and, and this and that under that flapper you can check other videos on YouTube pretty good information on how to clean that but it needs to be clean because if not if you wait till uh, if you don't ever clean that as a possibility with, with the backflow that that flapper will be stuck down so it's it's just something else you add your maintenance list every you know, every six months, like changing the batteries in your smoke detectors or whatever. So I'm going to take this cover out, and I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to rinse it off in the wash tub. 
so I can get a better access in the future of what's going on. And also I'm going to uh, clean out down in there any of the uh, dirt that we have. I mean, it's going to get dirty in the future, but no reason to start now. And uh, make sure my gasket's nice and clean. I have some dirt down in here. I'm going to clean all that real nice and also the bottom of the uh, clear plastic. Make sure everything's a nice, good seal. So uh, if we do have the backflow issue in the future that we have a good seal and we did all we can. Uh, yeah, but you can see how uh, down inside all the... Uh, the uh, general purpose gravel held everything back, uh, held the box in, in real nice, and it's it's flush with the concrete. It's good to go. We're done. Uh, just going to clean it up here and do uh, a few more thoughts. So now I just uh, rinsed off the cover, like I mentioned. Cleaned it really well, top and bottom. Also inside here, you can see I have some water going down. I drained the sink basin. Around this, it's imperative, this, this gasket. Is clean. It kind of, it kind of is uh, concave, concave. Needs to be cleaned out if it is dirty. And it was a little, little stuff in there. Uh, cleaned it out, and we're ready to to put this back on and uh, inspect it in the spring, which would be about the six month interval. And hopefully, you won't have any water backflow issues. But if so, if this doesn't do the job, then uh, I don't know what else would because this. Looks like it, uh, it will work incredibly well. Also, another thing I wanted to point out earlier in the video is when I had my level going across um, this valve, it wasn't at that time level. Uh, so you saw the bubble was going the wrong way, but I hadn't at that time tightened up my straps and leveled it off. But it's good to go now. I don't want to put it back on there because I already have everything clean. But it is uh, level like it should be. And we're done. A um, couple things I want to point out. I am a homeowner. I'm not a contractor. This is just uh, a video I wanted to throw up on uh, YouTube because uh, in my search for backflow valves, I didn't find a whole lot of helpful videos. I, whole, I found a whole lot of people trying to sell you stuff. Um, you know, if this helps you, wonderful. Uh, you know, maybe professional plumbers are probably laughing, but then they can put their own videos up and maybe they can help people out instead of not. So anyway, I uh, hope, hope it helps you out. I uh, hope uh, if you watch this video, you can uh, gain something from uh, anything I showed you uh, from my own experience here, and uh, good luck.